Hi, my name is Ms. Ruddock. I'm now going to present to you what we're offering at design, in design technology at GCSE. So why choose design technology? Only choose this subject if you have really enjoyed the projects you've done at Key Stage 3, if you enjoy being creative, if you like designing things and solving problems, as we have a load of those in DT, if you have thoughts about design or engineering in the future. So if you're into architecture, product design, engineering, graphic design, then this subject is definitely for you and we need you on board. Think about what you have got to offer and skills. And if you have, then please choose DT. Don't choose DT if you can't think of anything better to do, if you don't like project work and you don't enjoy being creative. And most importantly, if you don't like being part of a team, because in DT, it's all about collaboration, problem solving, coming up with new ideas, and that's what we need in, in the subject. The core structure. So the exam board is Edexcel. It's 50% theory, which is a written exam, and 50% coursework. Within that coursework, you were given the, you will be taught practical skills from in year 10 to prepare you for year 11 in order to make a product on your own. Theory consists of materials, manufacturing, design, wood, metals, plastics, paper and boards, textiles, modern materials and electronics. And there were some maths and science questions, which is 15% and 10% of your exam. The year 10 course structure. So you have a single lesson to theory a week, one lesson a week, and you have one practical lesson a week. Within the practical, we were working on manufacturing skills, your design skills, use of CAM, which stands for Computer Aided Design, and CAM, which stands for Computer Aided Manufacturing, so using a 3D printer or laser cutter, um, and you will make possible outcomes. These possible outcomes can be anything from flat pack furniture, joinery, educational toy, architecture, desk lamp. Within these projects, you'll be using various materials in order for you to be a successful designer and manufacturer of the products that you intend to design and make. The year 11 course structure is more about theory of vision over what you've learned in the whole year of year 10 and then the main bulk of your NEA. The exam titles will normally be released in year 10, so the last, the summer term of year 10, to prepare you to obviously design and make when you come back in year 11 as the course is uh, in year 11, the course predominantly rel relies on theory to prepare you for your written summer exam. But this is the fun, exciting part where you see your skills over a year in year 10, then being developed and refined in year 11 to produce some fantastic out outcomes like I have to show you in my PowerPoint today. So the NEA, it's something where the example gives you three different titles to choose from. And when you've chosen the one that you like, you go through the iterative design process where we focus on following areas such as research, a specification, developing your design and ideas, developing their ideas into a final outcome, a refinement using the um, 2D design and 3D software, and then you actually create your practical prototype and then you test and evaluate the end product. Some possible examples. So these examples of students course work over the years. So this is how you, you, you use an online portfolio. So we do a thing online using PowerPoint. You collaborate all your evidence together to do the NEA and then you submit it to the exam board as part of this course. As you can see, these examples are very detailed, very thorough. They give you an idea of what the, the project's about. So this is a level of expectations respect for you in choosing design technology at GCSE. Some more examples of you to show you how to do your design ideas, the process. You've come up with a mind map of ideas, then develop and refine them into design ideas and we will teach you these skills from year 10 and how to draw in 3D. Here are some finished outcomes over the years of students' work. So we see that we've got the lamp, we've got packaging design, you've got table and chair design using various materials like woods, timbers, paper and boards. So you do get to use a variety and the choices of materials on the course. Here again, some examples of students' coursework where they're looking at evaluating the critical design process and their final outcomes. So you can see this one from a hand drawing on the left through to a 3D model, which is done on, a solid, on uh, Google SketchUp, gone on to modeling using styrofoam, and then you can see the end product made from wood. So this is based on a design brief of the wireless festival. Some further design ideas using timbers, some fantastic outcomes from our year 11s which you will definitely be doing if you choose GCSE Design Technology. The skills you will learn. 
So on the course of the two years, you will learn problem solving, critical thinking, design development, manufacturing, the use of CAD and CAM, working part of a project because that's very important, definitely helps developing your design ideas, if, especially if you're stuck on an idea, talking to people help you develop those ideas and working part of a team. And of course, I'm here to help you along the way. Once you've done your GCSE, the possible careers in D&T could be anything from graphic products, art based subjects, A level and degree level, such as surface design. So you've got anything from career paths, looking at many uh, product designer, market researcher. You've got if you look at an architect, construction manager, the list is endless. You've got stuff that you can link into fashion design, dressmaking. You can be a games developer, web designer, food technologist, manufacturing engineer. There are loads. So when you start this course, you have an idea of what you want to do, study A-level and beyond at university. And these are the steps choosing this subject will help you get there and develop those skills through the two years of doing this, the DT, GCSE course. Within the course, we use we work um, with a STEM subjects, so it's science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and this is where these disciplines are used together to develop products or a project of your of, the, of your choice to again bring up those skills from you in order to prepare you for the wider world outside of GCSE. If we just think back to the year that we've had in real life, design and technology has played an important role in real life situation. So over the course of the COVID pandemic, we here at HAPE have gone above and beyond in designing and making PP protect equipment for our nurses and doctors on the front line. These are manufactured at school using a laser cutter or a 3D printer, just like on a production line. It was a fantastic time to be able to get our hands in, get on with doing things that will help in the wider community. And that's what Design Talent is all about. So thank you for listening to my presentation today. If you've got any questions, please email me at the email address below. And I look forward to your questions. Thank you.